We begin this morning with a response from the head of the Assembly of First Nations to an investigation into her leadership, reportedly over allegations of bullying. Let's go straight to our senior political correspondent for CTV News Channel, Mike LeCouture, What's with the latest. Mike, good morning. What can you tell us? Yeah, good morning, Marcia. She is welcoming this investigation and essentially saying that she wants more light to be shed on the ongoing situation where she claims to be trying to fight political corruption within the AFN and is saying that a lot of the people within the organization are more concentrated on infighting than actual advocacy. Have a look at some of the statement that she had released yesterday evening, uh, specifically about some of these allegations. In it, she says, I've been undermined, discredited, and attacked. This is the second time that I've endured a smear campaign as a result of my relentless pursuit of the truth. And she also said that in 33 years of leadership, she has been trying to clean up political messes uh, and that she stands for the truth, transparency and accountability. Archibald was elected the first national chief of the AFN last July and in that time she said that people have been resistant to the positive changes that she has been trying to bring, bring in the efforts of cleaning up quote corruption within the AFN. She says that she wants to go even further than this investigation, Marcia, welcoming a forensic audit and independent inquiry of the AFN over the last eight years. So she has been the subject of an investigation before. Tell us about that, Mike. Yeah, she has. Just before she was elected as the National Chief of the Assembly of First Nations, Roseanne Archibald was subject of an in inquiry into similar type of bullying uh, when she was an Ontario Regional Chief. And this is something that was launched by the Assembly of First Nations back in February. From what we were hearing, the report came out in May. And one of the issues with it was that uh, it hit a bit of a dead end because they did identify upwards of 10 complainants, but only seven agreed to be interviewed because they feared reprisal. They feared uh, that it could affect their employment if they did come forward. So as a result, it would seem uh, that the investigation was in a sense dropped or hit that kind of dead end. Also interesting to note for that investigation, Archibald herself was not interviewed. But then uh, just even just a few months later, she was elected as the national chief for the Assembly of First Nations. So certainly, Marcia, this story is ongoing. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how it develops over the course of the day. Mike Couture, thanks so much.